hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be installing this wig and this wig was sent to me by wiggings it came in this red uh silk bag so this is the 13 by 4 lace front wig which means you can you have four inches and it's not one of those that have like two inches on the side and four in the middle it actually has like four all around in the front so you can part you can even have like the deepest deepest part on the side which is perfect and it came with three combs two on the side and one at the back and this is 200 percent density and this is 26 inch like this is like super super long and i'm short so i'll show you in a bit how long this hair is but it's a really really good quality the lace is hd which i am in love with and it's it just melts in my skin like as you guys can see it's like completely melt in my skin and this is a body wave texture and thank you wiggins for sponsoring this video i'll have all the information about the hair in the description box below so if you want to see how i installed this wig then keep on watching so I'm going to take my guts to be glued just to slick down my edges because I'm going to be using glue. So I want everything to be tucked away. And today I'm going to be doing a bald cap method. So I like to use stockings, which looks like this and they're cheap these are not like expensive stockings these are like really really cheap and it's not too tight like a wig cap and it's also not too thick it's very very thin so i'm just gonna put this on my head so i'm going to create some ear tabs And I'm taking my Gus to be free spray and I'm going to spray this on the hairline. My blow dryer on like medium heat. And now it's dry, I'm going to cut out the axis. And next I'm taking my foundation. This is a foundation that's a little bit darker than my skin tone. And I'm just putting like two pumps. And I'm taking a big powder brush and just like blend it. And then I'm gonna apply it on this wig cap. Next, I'm taking 91% trubbing alcohol and I'm going to clean the edges where the glue is going to sit just so that it can stick properly. And for my glue, I'm going to be using Ghost Bond XL and I like to put it on the little cardboard and i'm just taking like a popsicle stick and i'm going to do the first layer So 
so I'm gonna blow this out in cool air until it gets clear So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the second layer. I'm gonna do four layers in total uh, because I want this install to last me like at least a week. So this is how the wig is looking after I bleach the knots and I remove the two combs on the side because I have a wig cap. There's no need for me to use those combs but I left the one in the bag because I like to use it to secure the bag. And I also added like some wand curls. So before I apply it I'm taking the same foundation and I'm going to apply in the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. One thing that I forgot to do before putting on the glue was to cut out my ear tabs but we'll make it work So I'm taking like this elastic and I'm going to tie down the wig and while this is tied I'm going to blow dry this on coal for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll come back and cut the excess lace. So it's been about 20 minutes and I just removed the elastic band and now I'm going to cut the lace. So this is how it's looking. So I'm taking my eyebrow razor and I'm going to cut off the excess lace. If you live in South Africa, you will understand this. We've been struggling with load shedding for like over a month now. So the power went off for like two hours, three hours actually. So what I did was I took my uh, Gatsby, um blasting spray and I sprayed it on the hairline and tied this down again. 
because I couldn't film everything like my camera was still working and everything but the lights were off and it was raining outside so it was like pitch black so I couldn't film <laughs> anything so I just stopped and also what I did was I took my blow dryer and my pedal brush and I just crushed out all these curls because they they were too tight for what I was going for and I wanted to have like the natural waviness of the hair so I brushed that out I cancelled the side part that I had and I also added a little bit of baby hair I just hope you guys can understand what I'm saying so this is how it's looking there's still like a some white residues but that's fine so this lace is 13 by 4 you can do like side parting you can do all the different puttings you want with it which is really really cool so I'm going to do like a middle part So I'm gonna take my mousse, which is the Design Essential Foaming Wrap Lotion, and I'm going to apply this on the part so that it can like lay flat here. Cause I originally had like a side part somewhere here and everything was like curled to the left. So I'm just going to take my face concealer and apply a little bit on this part to define it more. I don't want to plug any hair here. So just adding a little bit of concealer there. So I think that looks fine. So I think with the baby hairs, I'm fine with the amount that I have out. So what I'm going to do like this side looks perfect it's just like this side I have like the little white spots here so I'm taking my mousse again with my little um, brush here and I kind of wanna see if I can get rid of this white residue here and still have the baby hairs and this is how the back looks with the waviness. I really, really love this hair. So this is the final look. I really, really love this hair. This was like my first time working with HD lace and I am in love. I don't think I'll go back. I still do have like old lace wigs. It just like melts in your skin. Like I hope you guys can see what I mean. I didn't even do much baby hair, but this looks natural. It looks like it's coming from my scalp, like it's giving scalp. And again, this hair is by Wiggins. It came in this red silk bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.